the facts. The fact is that God no longer deals with us in judgment, but in mercy. If people got what they deserved, this old planet would have ripped apart centuries ago. Praise God because God's great love is limitless. And this is what it says in Lamentations 3, verse 22. It says, We are not consumed, for God's compassions never fail. And here's what it says in James 5, 11. You know the Lord is full of mercy and is kind. God's capacity to forgive, like God's love, it is infinite. Despite our shortcomings, despite our errors, even our sins, God offers immediate forgiveness and wonderful life when we surrender and commit ourselves totally to God. Once we have received God's forgiveness, how then should we behave towards others? Should we remain embittered people? Should we remain resentful? Should we forgive them? Just as God has forgiven us, I say that we should forgive them, release them from our hold of uh, critical thinking. God's word gives us the answer when we show mercy and when we forgive others. Let me share with you from Matthew 6, 14 and 15. For if you forgive humans their trespasses, your heavenly God will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive humans their trespasses, neither will God forgive your trespasses. Let me tell you how this works. This is not a mean, judgmental God that sits there like Clint Eastwood and saying, make my day, either you do this or I'm going to get you. Not at all. The love of God comes through you, and you, in your free will, must allow this to happen. And when it comes through you towards others, who feels it first? You do. You feel a total cleansing and a total renewal. You become, literally, a new person in Christ. Now, let me read to you Matthew 18, verses 21 and 22. And then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall I forgive my brother? And should I do it up to seven times? And Jesus said to him, Oh, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. That's not an actual number. What he's saying is infinite. You do not limit in human mind how often you forgive, because when you do, you limit the love of God coming through you. You limit the blessings and the unblocking power of the love of God. The greatest block that we have inside of us to limit our good from God coming through is unforgiveness. And when you decide to forgive, your whole life changes. You start to feel the love of God from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet inside of you. But you also find that you have made a portal, an opening. When you pray for something, you will receive. You're no longer blocked. It is a great realization when we realize the power of spiritual forgiveness. When we do not obey God's command, we find that we're in a prison. And the prison is of our own making. When it comes to forgiveness, God doesn't play favorites, and either should you. God forgives all equally. God loves all equally. 
God's forgiveness is God's way and make it your way also.